Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today I want to talk about a study that was just published in the Journal of Nutrition looking at garlic extract and coronary artery disease. Now, I, in my fellowship, was trained uh, to believe that garlic actually in long-term clinical studies did not seem to reduce cholesterol. So I tended to take people off garlic, but this study probably has changed my mind. So it was published, as I said, in a, a journal of nutrition, and it looked at 55 people all of whom had metabolic syndrome, that's increased uh, blood sugars, hypertension, uh, weight issues, a high triglyceride, a low good cholesterol. This is something very, very common seen in the Western population. And they all had this. And then what they did is that they put them in a coronary calcium CAT scan to see how much plaque you can measure how much heart disease, how much plaque you have by looking at the amount of uh, narrowing of the arteries on a CAT scan. And then they randomized them into two groups. One group were given 2.4 grams of aged garlic extract, which they took for a year, and that was 27 of them. The other 28 were given a placebo for a year. What they did in this study that was really interesting is they then looked at the coronary calcium score again a year later, and what they found was that if you'd taken the garlic for a year, you had less plaque in your arteries, a specific type of plaque, than the people taking placebo. So my take on this is that this is very intriguing, and perhaps, after all, garlic in high doses as aged garlic extract may be an important uh, herb to be taking uh, for people who are concerned about heart disease. One should remember, however, that garlic has properties that can thin the blood, so that always needs to be considered. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.